Welcome. In this video, I am going to demonstrate an experiment conversion of an ammeter to a voltmeter. Before proceeding to the demonstration, let's discuss the background of this experiment. What is ammeter? Ammeter is an instrument to measure electric current in an electrical circuit. Whereas voltmeter is an instrument to measure electric potential. Suppose you don't have an voltmeter but you want to measure electric potential. In that case you can convert your ammeter to a voltmeter by connecting it with a suitable series resistance. So we will going to perform this experiment. What kind of apparatus we need for this experiment? Apparatus we need are regulated power supply ammeter which we are going to convert into voltmeter, resistance boxes and a voltmeter for the verification of our result that is what we are getting is correct or not. The experiment consists of two parts. In order to calculate the suitable series resistance, we first need to calculate the internal resistance of ammeter. In order to find out the internal resistance of ammeter, we need to make a circuit like this where ammeter is connected in series with a variable resistance and the two ends, two extreme ends, one end of ammeter and another end of resistance will be connected to power supply. However, we will also connect a low resistance in parallel configuration. As we know that the ammeter we are using a micro ammeter, if you slightly change the knob of your power supply, then current will be changed drastically and we won't be able to control the deflection. So what we are going to do, we are going to connect a parallel resistance so that maximum current will pass through that parallel resistance and we will have very low current passing through ammeter so that we can control it. Okay. Now check this situation. What is the current between the point A and B? Let's say that current is I. Then I will be potential drop across AB divided by R internal that is internal resistance of ammeter plus RM which is the variable resistance. Think of two situation when RM is equals to 0, I is equals to I0 which is V upon RI and when RM is equals to RI that is exactly equals to internal resistance of ammeter then I become I prime which is equals to V upon 2 RI that is I0 upon 2. That is when the resistance is exactly equals to internal resistance of the ammeter current passing through ammeter becomes half right. So now what we can say when the value of external resistance will be equals to the value of internal resistance of ammeter current in the circuit become half and the deflection become half. That is why this method is also called half deflection method for finding out the internal resistance. Let's see the demonstration of this experiment. Let's begin our experiment. What we will going to do, we will going to make a circuit as I have shown in theory. This is the power supply. This is resistance box. This is another resistance box. This is micro ammeter which we need to convert into voltmeter. So initially let's make the circuit. For the circuit we just need to connect one end of ammeter to the one end of resistance box. So let's connect it. And now other end of ammeter to the power supply. And finally uh, the another end of power supply to the variable resistance another end of the variable resistance. So this part is done. Now we need to connect a smaller resistance box that is S so that maximum current will pass through that S and we will have less current in the our ammeter. Okay. So just make a parallel connection. So now our parallel connection is done and we are all set. Let's start the experiment. Okay. So what we need to do first we need to choose a very small value in the resistance box S. So here I have chosen 2. Okay. And now S is 2. What we need to do we need to check the deflection when R is equals to 0. 
in that case we need to make a full deflection in our microammeter just set it at 100 So just adjust a little bit. Now the deflection in our ammeter is 100. So what we need to do, we need to make a deflection 50. That is half deflection. And how we can make it? Just by pulling out some resistance from our resistance box okay so let's choose some resistance so initially 500 and deflection is not 50 so another 200 700 then 900 now we are very close pick up more resistance 950 970 and a little bit more now 990 and it's perfect 50 okay so what we got when resistance in the box is 990 deflection is 50 okay so we got a half deflection for 990 therefore 990 is the our internal resistance for the given ammeter okay so we need to repeat this experiment for different observations so that we will have a statistical more value. So again you just need to put the, all the resistance back. Just make a zero resistance in the circuit and then change the value of RS to some other value. Okay. So you can check for S is equals to 1, S is equals to 5 and so on. Okay. So just repeat it. Now our first part of experiment is completed. This is the table which we have got that is the table for the calculation of internal resistance. We have three observation. What we did we just changed the resistance S and for each value of S we have checked the condition for half deflection. So for the first observation when resistance Rm is equals to 0 in that case m meter reading was 100 and when m meter reading was 50 in that case resistance in the variable resistance box is 990 therefore internal resistance is equals to 990 and that's how I got three different observation and then mean of all those resistance gives us the value of internal resistance which was around 986 okay once we know the internal resistance then in order to calculate the series resistance we will use this formula okay Suppose you want to convert an ammeter which ranging from 0 to IM to a voltmeter where volt is running from 0 to VM. In that case, you can use this formula and for us, IM was around 100 microampere and uh, Vmax that is VM was 1 volt. So if you substitute all this value, RM is 986 what you will get RS as 9015 ohm. So this is our series resistance which we need to connect with ammeter in order to convert it into a voltmeter. Okay. Now we see from here 100 microampere correspond to 1 volt. Thus there is a scale factor of 1 volt per 100 microampere. Okay. Now we know the RS. So just move on for the second part, which is the actual part of the experiment, ammeter to voltmeter conversion. And for that, we need to make a circuit like this. That is a series connection between power supply, ammeter and RS, which we have calculated. And here you can see in the green color, I have attached a voltmeter. This voltmeter is just for the direct measurement of voltage. This part, which is in the box, is constructed voltmeter. And this is voltmeter for the direct measurement of voltage so that we can verify our result okay so just move on let's see the demonstration let's begin our next part of the experiment for the next part of experiment we need to just make a series connection between ammeter and the resistance box okay so it's already uh, made you just check one end of power supply goes to one end of ammeter resistance box and then resistance box back to the power supply 
and this part is the constructed voltmeter where the RS is you can check 9015 9, as we have calculated okay now just for the verification we will connect voltmeter to parallel connection with our power supply as shown in the circuit so this is uh, parallel connection just take two wire parallelly okay and connect it so in the back side we have connection so just put it here just connect it here now we are all set for the verification of our result and you can easily check so for that just start the experiment so switch on and now you can check zero is the deflection in micrometer and corresponding deflection in the voltmeter is zero so zero multiply by scale factor which is one by hundred is equals to zero so initial result is done now just turn the knob of regulated power supply and make microammeter at the setting of 10 okay so 10 microammeter so 10 multiply by our uh, scale factor which was 1 upon 100 and it will give you 0.1 volt okay and now you can just check directly from voltmeter which is 0.1 so our result is okay right because voltmeter is here for the verification now move on and just make it 20 So in that way you can check for the various value so when microammeter shows 20 so 20 if you multiply by scale factor then 20 times 1 by 100 right is equals to what 20 times 1 upon 100 is 0.2 and you can directly check the voltmeter reading that is 0.2 so our result is correct okay and so on so you can go on increasing the value and you can go on for the verification for different values so for 30 you can check 0.3 for 40 0.4 so you can go on right now our experiment is complete so this is the chart which we have got for different observation when constructed voltmeter shows zero reading if you multiply by that scale factor 1 by 100 it will be zero volt and that was exactly verified by the direct measurement of voltmeter when we got 10 in our ammeter so we need to multiply by scale factor so that we can get the data in volt 10 into 1 by 100 is 0.1 which is exactly matching with the direct measurement of voltmeter and so on so i have taken 10 different readings okay so hope this experiment is clear to you See you in next video where I will discuss another experiment. Thank you.